Did you hear my RV? Wow. Dude, how is that? The link to the preset for this tutorial is in the description. It is only for Premiere Pro, so just bear that in mind. Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I thought I would do another tutorial because I haven't actually done one in a while, and I was I've improved a lot in editing the part. I've improved a lot of editing in the past couple of I don't I think it's months since I've edited this tutorial. So I would like to show you guys how to do this cool green transition, which I see in a lot of people's videos at the moment. I have my kind of own preset, which I'm going to be linking in the description. Um, so I'm actually going to show you how to do it manually unless you don't want to use the preset. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going to the end of your clip. You're going to be moving it up. Have you move clips up nowadays? Well, I guess, uh, um, you go to just a little bit after you keyframe the scale. Then you go two, three, four, and you go to sixty. So then it kind of. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play around with it and see what you prefer to do. Um, it's usually just preference. Uh, I'm gonna go watch. I, nice. I quite like that. Uh, I'm gonna go watch. So what now I what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the position, so it coming off of the screen. I like to go down on clips because it just looks nice. So you go to the last keyframe. You go 20 frames ahead by pressing the shift key and pressing the right, the right arrow key four times. One, two. Position. Then you want to do the exact same thing by going four of those five frames ahead. One, two, three, four. Then you want to just scroll this all the way down off the screen. I'm gonna go watch. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this up, pull this one down, pull the position down. You want to scroll in so you can see them. You want to select both. And do temporal interpolation go to continuous bezier and just follow what i do i usually try to keep it like a nice smooth kind of uh, i'm gonna go watch now what you want to do is you want to make it so there's a background of the next clip so what you want to do is you want to go where you see the black outline you want to unlink your first clip i'm gonna scroll this back scroll this in and you've got a nice looking Vanessa, did you hear my review wow. dude Nice looking transition there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add in a drop shadow. I like to usually just play around with the effects. So you want to just go with a normal drop shadow. You want to go to the opacity. You want to find one frame before. Go to the opacity. Go to zero. You remember to keyframe this. Go one frame ahead, and then you want to make it. I would say 70%. Then you want to make the direction. Let's just play around with the settings and see what looks nice. Vanessa, did you hear my RV? It's kind of simple, but um, you can add whatever you want, so maybe you add a bit more opacity. Maybe you change the direction a bit. That looks nice. Uh, that's so softness. So you see? So it's like that. Vanessa, did you hear my RV? Wow. Dude, how is that? Just before the video ended, I wanted to show you guys how to import presets just in case you wanted to import my preset. So all you need to do is go to your presets, right click, click import presets, you want to go to downloads, and then for example you click something like this, so any of these, so for example this is a preset that I made, or Vari made for me, so I click that, it will go in, then you search. See, I've got the preset. There you go. 
um, I would like to thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll make a tutorial soon I'm not promising anything but hopefully I can and um, I would like you guys to just if you want a specific tutorial just let me know down in the description and just let me know what type of video ideas you want in the future make sure to like and subscribe and that's it